Good day, I'm uh, Mauro Cappellino from the Sandali Trading Company and I'd like to speak to you today about a coffee that we have just bought from Colombia uh, which falls under our Women's Coffee Project. Women's Coffee Project, what is it? Please go and see our video, you'll find it on our webpage where we describe exactly what we do and how we try and promote gender equality and social equality with this project. This specific project in Colombia is called Asociación de Mujeres Cafeteras and uh, uh, the coffee that is bought under this, co this project here is solely bought from farms managed by women. Uh, women in this uh, asociación, Asociación de Mujeres uh, Cafeteras, um, the farms are roughly at about 1,850 meters above sea level, so we're talking about high altitude coffee. Uh, the uh, municipality from which this, uh, this coffee originates from is INSA, and uh, um, the uh, coffee is 100% fully washed uh, coffee, like most of the coffee in Colombia. It is 100% uh, sun-dried uh, coffee. And uh, the varietals that you'll find in this coffee here are Castilla and Colombia, the two main varieties. Um, the harvesting period of this coffee goes from uh, September to January, and then again from April to June. Okay, and here we have the coffee in front of us from our Colombian Women's Coffee Project. Uh, as you can see in the green, the uh, selection is, uh, is good. It's a nice selection. The coffees are nice and clean. Uh, what we found on the screen size over here was uh, a 32% screen 17, 33% screen 18, and 15% screen 19, giving you a total of 80% over screen 17. So we have nice ripe uh, beans from the Kauka area in this woman's coffee project. This type of selection obviously translates into a nice uniform roast. As you can see over here, the uh, beans are well developed uh, in the roast and uh, this already gives us an idea of what we'll be tasting soon. Okay. So we've come to the uh, cupping session of our Colombian uh, Women's Coffee Project. Uh, the two cups have already been presented to me and uh, uh, the crema, from what I can see, is quite reasonably thick and uh, uh, very nice texture. The colour is a dark uh, golden brown. Um, definitely for being an Arabica coffee, it has uh, a, a thickish type of uh, crema. Let us go and add the sugar in our uh, lower cup and make the most of the fragrance that the coffee is emitting right now. In fact, already I can smell the fragrance coming up and hitting my nostrils. Starting with the unsugared cup. I'm going on to the uh, sugar cup. Definitely the fragrance that comes out here is a nice mellow caramel type of fragrance. Uh, very inviting. Uh, so let us go and taste it. Let us go and try the unsweetened cup first. And now the sweetened cup. Okay, definitely this is has got a nice mouthfeel to it. The body is definitely there. You can taste this almond and this, um, let's say, cocoa in the body. It has a very, very nice uh, almond and a caramel type of uh, um, flavor. Um, other flavors that come out with the acidity, which is a medium high acidity, is, uh, um, let's say, wild berries, mountain berries, uh, caramel again, and uh, um, candied fruit, this definitely comes out with, of course, the underlying cocoa taste, which goes and strengthens the body that this coffee has. Um, other little notes that this coffee has is a syrupy aftertaste. It has a, a very mellow syrupy uh, pineapple type of aftertaste, which gives you a pleasant mouthfeel in the end. And um, I think with these characteristics here, it definitely does suit a woman's project coffee.